Hello folks, what I've got in front of me today are two of my uh, non-precharged rifles. One of them is a, uh, a spring rifle which is the AGS uh, SP10 I think it was called. Uh, it's classed as a value max like a Webley. It came out just before the Webleys came out with their value max when there were still air gun sports uh, rifles available. I tuned it myself. They didn't cost much, brand new, it was about £110. So I polished the piston and everything. It's got a new top hat and spring and everything. Uh, I worked on the trigger so uh, it shoots a lot better than it did. But having said that, I don't use uh, these much at all now since PCPs came along. I should use them more actually. Because if you, if you shoot a, a Springer or a gas ram, it does teach you to be hold sensitive. Uh, and you need to use the marksmanship principles to get uh, a good result. Now the other one on here, it's a Gamma. It's the IGT Whisper. And it stands for Inert Gas Ram Technology. Now, the Springers, when you get a Springer, you can tune them up. And they're pretty easy to tune as well. And what, the, what, what you're trying to get with the Springer is to get it so it's shooting nice and smooth. Try and get some of the recoil out of it. And basically make it shoot smooth enough to get a good result. My Gas Ram technology on the other hand, it's not as easy to tune, you can't really tune it unless you've got uh, a gas ram in it that you can actually put your own air pressure in and there's not many of those about. Uh, the Theobans you used to be, able to, be, be able to do that with those, you could adjust the pressure in the gas ram for different powers. Uh, the difference between them is the gas rams have got a faster lock time but they can feel harsh compared to the, uh, the springers. Uh, you do feel more of a, I don't know, I don't know if it's a recoil or what, but it, it's definitely faster and it's more of a more of a thud than a twang. Not what they get from a springer. Uh, but these are the two I've got. The, uh, the Gamma Whisper, that's in 177. The AGS Value Max, that's in 2.2. Another thing you'll find is that because uh, 177s aren't as efficient as the 2.2, the 177s can be a bit more harsh when you shoot them as well, if you compare them to the same rifle in 2.2 in or 2.5, because uh, it don't take so much uh, pressure behind that spring uh, and a 2.2 to get the power up there. That's why if you've got a 177 uh, spring it and a 2.2, you make sure that you've got the right spring in the rifle because if you put a 177 in a 2.2 you're likely to send it overpowered because it's more it's not as efficient, it certainly needs a more stronger spring in it to get the same result. So I'll start off with the uh, the Gamo. Nice little rifle. I've got it just to see what gas rams are like. Uh, probably about 160 pounds this one. Uh, you can get uh, the wire axe, I think it's I'm not sure if it's a 90 or 99, that's got a gas ram in it from the Oven. Uh, a lot of gas rams coming out now anyway, hats and gamo range, you know, but uh, they've not got uh, the Theoban gas ram in. For a long time it had a patent on it, uh, and I think only. Ben Taylor's and had the uh, rifles with gas rams, but now that's gone off, everybody's coming out with gas rams. You get more power out of a gas ram as well. Uh, so, these, like I say, it shoots pretty harsh. Uh, nice trigger on it. That's, it's an adjustable trigger on this. Uh, I'm not sure which one this is, but there is a new one come out, it's called the Custom Action Trigger, or CAS for short. 
But the, they are tunable, so two stage trigger. Safe to catch is in front of the trigger, and it's a manual safety, it's not automatic. Uh, it comes with a rail on the top, which is supposed to take some of the shock out of the recoil, but I, to be honest, I don't think that's any good. It doesn't seem to work on this. I mean, the skates were moving all over the place. Uh, the scope I've got on this is uh, it's a uh, parallax adjustable at the front there. It's a Nico Sterling and it's a 6x40 adjustable objective. Nice little scope. It's, it's a fixed magnification and I think it goes well with the rifle. Uh, it's also got on it a single mount on it, look. And it's got four locking nuts on it. And I got that because the other scopes on it were actually uh, moving. But this one seems alright now. The good, another good thing, which you should do on all rifles, I think, it, PCPs especially, is put open sights on. Because you don't always, it's sometimes fun to shoot with uh, open sights over optical. Yes, if you want accuracy, use the optical lens, but uh, sometimes it's just good fun to shoot with the open sights. And the open sights on these are really good. Uh, they're illuminated sights and they're adjustable at the rear for elevation and windage. Like I say, they're, they're fiber, fiber optic sights, green at the back, red at the front. Uh, it's got a recoil pad at the rear, ventilated. I say it's, uh, it's not too bad, bad a rifle to shoot. The only thing is when you get a springer and a gas ram, you've got to put a few thousand shots for them just to get the feel for them. You've got to get the feel right for these. So, some of them are very uh, hold sensitive, others aren't so bad. But that is the, uh, that's the uh, Gamo IGT Whisper. Uh, a thing I've found out about the Gamo range since I went to the shop show is uh, the whole range of Gamos now, no matter which model you get, are now available with uh, the 10 shot uh, magazine system. So if you do want uh, a gamo rifle and you want the multi-shot you can get it now which is good. So that is the uh, the gamo. The uh, AGS SPR10 I think it is Springer. That's a uh, nice little rifle. It's got an arrested block behind this scope, so uh, that stops that from uh, moving. Like I say it's because it's uh, it's a springer, you can't, it's smoother to shoot. Same with the uh, the safety on this, there's a safety in front of the trigger, it's manual safety again, on and off. Some people don't like those sort of things, but you get used to it, I'm not too bothered about it. Cross bolt safeties are better put it that way. Uh, on this one it's just a, a barrel weight really, it's not a silencer on that, it's just to help you cock it. Uh, on the Whisper it's got the uh, silent technology silencer on but don't take any of these silencers on a spring roll gas ram as uh, making them quiet. It might stop the crack on the uh, air coming out but most of the sound from a spring and a gas ram is actually coming from a piston hitting the end of the cylinder so you're never going to get rid of that and it'll be uh, it'll be odd I think to uh, totally silence a springer like you could a pre-charged rifle right so what I'll do now I'll put each of the rifles over the chronograph we'll see what sort of power they're putting out and then we'll get outside into the backyard range at 18 yards and uh, we'll see how we can uh, group them. Like I said, I'm not used to uh, using a gas ram or a springer that much nowadays. Uh, so they are quite hold sensitive. But we'll, we'll see how I can do. So uh, what we'll do now then, we'll get on with the chronograph in and we'll start off with the, uh, the AGS PCR 10 I think it is. Uh, in 2.2 and I'll be using uh, the Daystate Sovereigns which they're quite efficient through the barrel.
So we'll see uh, what kind of power it's putting out. So that is the next test. Okay then. Well, these are all the most efficient pokes through the barrel in the past, so... Five hundred fifty-seven. Last one. Five hundred fifty-four. Okay then. So the next up will be the uh, the Gamo Westbet IGT. Okay, I'm just going back on this one. Then an average of. 563, a high of 582, a low of 543, spread of 39, standard deviation of 10.5, that's out of 10 shots. Don't know why they uh, had a few low shots there, but uh, there we go anyway. Next up with the gamma. Okay then. Final with the uh, Gamo Whisper IGT. Five hundred and thirty-six. Turn the record on. Okay, first shot was 636 feet per second. Go back a bit. Six hundred fifty-six. Six hundred fifty-four. Six 
656. Okay, last one. <clears throat> Six hundred fifty-two. Okay then, so this one's averaging about ten foot pounds. Not as much as the uh, the Springer. And like I say, unless the uh, gas ram is the type that can be. Uh, pumped up with more air pressure, you can't really tune these any more than what they are. So up next will be the uh, range testing. Okay then, back on the outdoor range and start off with the uh, air gun sports. Still for zero, it's not. Sovereigns. Thanks, man. It's a game over.
really recommend this game. Really clear glass on it. Bottom black target. That's it then. Here comes Fort Springer and the Gamo Whisper Gas Ram. It takes some practice to get used to, but uh, once you've got the old and everything, fully independent rifles, you don't require air, CO2 or anything. So uh, that is it for now. Another downside to these is probably not backyard yard friendly because the piston makes quite a slam on both of them. It can get quite a uh, PCPs and silencers on, but uh, it sounds noisy at this level where I am. I mean, it is right next to it, but would it sound any louder? You know, if you're further away. 
suppose we'll find out from the uh, camera down there that took the egg. We'll see what that sounds like. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.